Hello, and welcome to Estimating System. The first thing to understand is that Estimating System is part of a larger system called Construction System. So when you sign up for Estimating System, you're going to be accessed into Construction System, and when you you log in, this is the, the main menu, this is what you're going to see. Now when you're estimating a job, there's two areas here that uh, you're going to use. One is this area right here. This is where estimating system resides. And over here is your, it's called an asset table. Now the way this works is estimating is a process of pulling assets from your asset table onto the estimate and then saving it and flipping it out to Microsoft Word. I'm going to demonstrate what I mean. So just to, to, to create an, es an estimate, you click Estimating System. Now your estimate has five areas. It has labor, overtime, equipment, rental, and materials. Now you may or may not use all these areas. This, these numbers here represent the line items that you can use. So we set this to start new estimate and click proceed to next page. Now what you're going to see is this screen right here. So you basically you have you can use these uh, these these entries or not um, but you've got like the front screen says you've got six for standard labor, three for overtime, three for equipment, three for rental and six for material. So now this drop down list over here these items come from the asset table. So, for example, I've entered in your shop standard rate at $45 an hour, and then over here you say that this job's going to take four hours. Now, uh, that's really all there is to it. So, you you know, as the coordinator, you know basically what it's going to entail. So. The idea here is to step one, load up your asset table with the line items that you intend to use, and step two, come into this estimate, estimating system, and, and draw these line items into your estimate and add hours to them. So that's a basic overview. Next we're going to look at how to put an asset into the asset table. Now that we've uh, taken a look at the estimating system and how that works, it works by pulling line items from the asset table onto the estimate. So now we're going to look at the asset table. So the asset table takes place on these links right here, in this section right here. So what I'm going to do is, uh, just to show you, I'm going to add one. So I'm going to click Add New Asset. So what we're going to do, let's add in a piece of equipment. So um, let's say that we have to go, uh, we got we to gotta, uh, rent a drill press for this job. So we're going to hire that drill press out at $35 an hour and we're going to set that to rental. So basically we name the equipment, we put a price on it, and we set the type and then click add record. Okay now we can click look up and modify assets. We come down here to our rental equipment click look up by type. So right now you can see we've got two things. This is the equipment column. We've got a forklift with a rate of $55 an hour and we've got a drill press at a rate of $35 an hour. So let's go back here look now we'll look at uh, we'll look at labor see what we have. Uh, so click set this to task, click look up by type. So right now we've got three different types of labor in the system. We've got engineering at $55 an hour, we've got painting at $65 an hour, and we've got our shop standard rate at $48 an hour. So the idea is to get your labor, your equipment, your rental equipment, and your materials into this asset table. Then estimating becomes just a matter of pulling these line items onto the estimate. So uh, let's say for example that you want to change your engineering rate. You feel that that's a little low. You haven't changed it in a while. So what you do is you come back to the main menu. You click mass modify asset types 
and you set this to task and click modify cost. Now here's your your three labor types. So let's say your engineering rate, okay. Uh, we hired a new guy. It's a little more expensive, so we're gonna we're gonna set our our new engineering rate to sixty sixty dollars an hour. Hit update cost, and now if I go back in here and set this to task and go look up by type, you can see that the rate's now sixty dollars an hour. So the idea is let's just say that you have fifty, sixty, seventy different assets in this asset table. Now you're set up. To, to create an estimate, which we will do next. Okay, so let's say, for example, that a call comes in, and it's one of your better clients, and they need a job done, and they need it done now. So he's asking you for an estimate, and they really price is secondary, getting it done quickly is primary so this is what you do you come into your system you click estimating systems you start new estimate take these defaults and proceed to the next step okay now you're gonna estimate this job so let's just say now you're gonna need it's got you're gonna need engineering you're gonna need say four hours of engineering uh, you're gonna need your sh uh, standard shop rate say that's going to be you got 16 hours in your shop rate and then you're going to need to paint this and you're going to need another four hours of painting now they're putting big pressure on you so you know there's going to be some overtime so let's just say that uh, in the shop you're going to add in five hours of overtime because it's a rush job um, you're going to need uh, you're going to need a bandsaw uh, for two hours now, incidentally, this is where a lot of business owners make a mistake. They don't charge for their equipment. Your equipment is a, is subject to wear and tear, so you want to make sure that you charge for it. Uh, you've got a truck. You're going to have to deliver this thing two two hours for the truck, and you have to rent a forklift, and that you have to rent that for half a day. So you're going to have four hours in your forklift. Now uh, we're not. You could do materials the same way, but we're not going to do that in this case. So you hit proceed to next step. Uh, you're going to put in who this is. Uh, the project is a Rush Project or whatever, and uh, put in the company name, which is you know Test Company. Now scrolling down this screen, you can see your line items. Uh, you've got your engineering, $240. It's all ex extended out. You also have a three additional line items that you can put in and tweak, and you can modify the rate. So you can modify it at this point, although you don't have to. And then, uh, you know, down here, now here's your breakdown. And as you can see, that uh, it's, it's all broken out here. And uh, we've also added uh, overhead uh, to the job. Make sure that you make some money and uh, here it is so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit print estimate so i'm going to hit that now now what that's done is that's uh, flipped this um, out to microsoft word okay here's your job in microsoft word now and as you can see it's all it's all broken out so um, Here's your company name. Now this is, you know, this is Microsoft Word, so you can do whatever you want to in here. So you basically just hit file and save this and uh, attach it as, you know, attach it in an email and out it goes. And they print it, accept it, send it back, and you're up and working.